and welcome to my channel. I'm Diane, the owner of Vermont Lavender, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my shower steamers using my tulip mold. And what I'm going to be doing is making several different types of scents of the shower steamers, and I want to package it up for a Mother's Day gift or a seasonal gift. So for all those lovely mothers out there, happy Mother's Day and come along with me on this journey of making some beautifully scented shower steamers that you can relax and enjoy on your special day. Okay, so I've already pressed like three of them and they're turning out really well. They smell wonderful. I love the menthol eucalyptus spearmint. It smells great. I think it'll be a beautiful Mother's Day set. And I've actually sold quite a few of these already. Not in this color though. Not in the eucalyptus scent. Can okay, I tear it off? each time that I do this and I'm measuring about 1.65 1 1 to 17, 1.7 ounces. This would be a great mold to make some bubble scoops with but you could just use this here. So I might do that in the future because this is a really pretty, pretty design. Just throw it in there like that. Squeeze it on, and then I just put it under my press. I'm just using my Arbor Press here to press it down lightly, and I do have a video on that if you're interested. Put that in the uh, description box below. And so you just tap this lightly, and then I just wiggle it back and forth. Gently take it and flip it over. And comes out perfect. <laughs> so that is a wonderful little design. It is beautiful. I'm not even going to have to paint these at all. Add any uh, mica painting. Although I could do that, but I'm not going to. So it came out wonderful. So I'm going to press one more and then I'll show you. So now I'm getting ready to mix this up again and I am making the lavender chamomile one and I'm going to be using the tulip mold on this one too. So let's mix this up and I'm making a single batch. It's a little dusty there, huh? And I do have my humidifier on now. We're at 50% because we've had a lot of rain. Springtime here. 
here in Vermont. But it's still sunny out, and then we have rain showers in between. So there's a lot of high winds. There's a lot going on with this weather. So I think I need a little bit more mica, because it's a dusty rose, which is pretty. But I think I want a little bit more. I don't want to add too much. And this does brighten up. So a little bit of white there. That's fine. I'm going to blend it up with some citric acid. Pour that right in. And I will have this recipe once I get my Patreon going. If you are interested in recipes on shower steamers and lotions and things like that. Or if you wanted to support my channel, be great. I would love it. Thank you for subscribing. All those that are subscribed mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. molding and I was thinking about adding and I did tear this I was thinking about adding some lavender buds but then I'm like you know what it's too much too much work to think about oh my gosh I gotta add the lavender buds so a little bit more Ooh. all right and I'm using my arbor press so just tap that out same as the other ones and this is so much easier to use. You just press it down a little bit. You probably could do this by hand. So let's try just doing my palm and see if that works. You do have to press down really hard and maybe turn it over and press it with your palm again. Yeah, the arbor press is so much easier. Okay. Oh yes, okay, it's over, that's how you do it, and then I just tap it lightly, and there you go. So if you did want to try that with just pressing it down without using the upper press, that would work. That's really nice and pretty. Also, I might sell these. I have sold them. Let's see, I think it was like in November I started making this. And so they sell really good. People, women really like them. So they're hard to keep in stock. So that's why I was thinking maybe this would be really nice for Mother's Day. So I'm going to continue making these and then I'll show you how I package them up. So what I tried here is a couple different ideas. So I had this box here and I don't recommend getting it. It's a little heart box and it just, uh, the size of it doesn't fit. I put this in there, put the crinkles and then I put these in there and you can't see it. So this would be good for maybe a waffle bath bomb or something like that where the design is consistent. But I don't recommend it because it just like comes apart. So, <laughs> and then what I came up with is this here, and I have a little like uh, piece of paper. I just put that right in there. Just get that get that out. But here you go, right there. And then you just put it. I tried to put a couple of these in here like this, and it didn't work. So that was out. So what I finally came up with is this little design right here. And so I, you can, the customer can see it, has a nice little bow, and it's a little slide one. And I'll leave all the items that I, because this is three different items from clearbags.com. It's not sponsored by them, but I'll leave the, all the information, the size and all that stuff in the description box below if you're interested in 
purchasing this for yourself. So this is what I came up with and then what I can do is just leave my information on the back of it, all the ingredients and all that stuff. So it's very visible and easy for the customer to see it and recognize it and say yes this is a gift. Let me know in the comments if you think that this is really a nice gift for Mother's Day or even any time of the year. A nice birthday gift also would be really nice and men can use this. It's not just for women. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and if you would like to buy me a coffee and help support my YouTube uh, channel, I would really appreciate it. It'll help me get some uh, lighting and maybe a microphone and things like that. So I will leave a link for that in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.